you doing today? Hi, Sharonda. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. Awesome. Look, you took me back. You had me playing like my whole high school playlist after watching this movie. I was like, these used to be the jams back in the day. Yeah, like Nelly, it's getting hot in here. And we had Christina Aguilera, Britney, uh, like all, all the cool, all the cool songs from back in the day. It was so great. Like it really took me back. And I mean, for you, like what was the one song that like you needed? Like this has to be in this movie for this to work. Okay, the weird, uh, we added a song right at the end, which is a Bewitch song called Say La Vie. Yeah, it is the catchiest song. And I remember when it came out, and it was like just like this cr- crazy big catchy song, um, but kind of a bit dorky as well. And then, and then I was like, nah, that song we have to have as like an extra kind of credits song. Um, and and it was just we'd play it like every day of filming. We just play it on set, and the cameras would would film some of the some of us dancing to it and then we just added that as a special feature at the end of the movie but that song is like it's just you can't help but smile when when you hear that song at the end I was like now what they know about this song I was like oh my goodness like I stayed up an extra hour just listening to music after this oh great yeah well the soundtrack's gonna be good because it's got it's got all the all the songs from the film in it I can't wait it literally took me back so thank you for that I appreciate you yeah (laughs) But one of the messages that I really love is that you always have that core group of friends or family that are going to accept you for like who you are. They meet you at where you are at that moment and it's totally fine. And I wanted to know for you, either personally or professionally, who are those people in your life that like just accept you for who you are? Oh, that's, yeah, that's so nice that you you got that from from the movie and I mean and the the people that played my my friends and and my dad Chris Parnell from SNL is like they're they're just like oh they're such such solid people like on and offset um but in in my real life um I guess I have like a couple of besties um that I just like uh would would talk to and we've been friends for like over 20 years and stuff and um and I think like I have my bestie Zara from high school and she's now a lawyer here in Manhattan um, and is like crushing it. And then my bestie Nick, who I lived in Africa with when I was 18 um, and he now works for the British government. Um, and, uh, and then one of my besties, Sam, is actually with me in the next room. Um, and we've known each other since acting school back in the day in Sydney. And it's just like, I don't know. And then my family, I have two sisters and a brother and my mom who are like, I'm really, really close to. So it's probably the, the family. And then just a couple of my, my besties who I just really like, um, you know, can say anything to and, and, and so, so supportive. Although my mom was not supportive of me being an actress at first, but she came around. At least she eventually came around. It's all that matters. Yeah. Look, bestie circle is like lit. Like they killing it. They're like, crushing it they just wanted to go out into the world and like do it we all kind of were like that as teenagers weirdly we just wanted to like uh get out get out there and and like and like do something with our lives y'all did that look yeah but I mean also too being in this industry you know your character when she's younger you know she has this issue with her image and I wanted to know for you being in Hollywood you know what are some ways that you've like had to just be like hey like I'm going to be my, my bad beach self and do what I want to do. Like how, how have you handled that working in this industry? Well, I remember when I first started um, back in Australia and I was kind of uh, gaining weight, I had something called PCOS mm-hmm. and I, I gained weight quite rapidly when I was around 20. And, um, and then people were like, oh, well, that's not good for, to be an actress. Like you'll never get chosen for any roles. And we have this one uh, kind of soapy show called Home and Away where a lot of the, the hunky Australians are on and, and they like wouldn't even see me like for an audition or anything because uh, they all run around in swimsuits and stuff in the show. And, and so, but then I was like, well, okay, everyone said being overweight was a disadvantage. And then I was like, no, I'm going to turn it into an advantage and I'm going to go... Um, veer more into the comedy where bigger girls um, at that time did better. Um, and then I'm just going to like 
like yeah like make the the best of, of a situation because I like I I've been like confident all sizes and um and even though at that time like everybody was like oh like you'll never make it and like and then I made it in Australia and they're like oh well you never make it in Hollywood and then I came over and uh, quite quickly like like made it over there and um one of the reasons why I got signed in Hollywood on my second day in in America was that I did look different um and that's why they took me because they didn't have anybody that looked like me at the time so so I don't know like it's it's hard um sometimes and I definitely um you know relate to people that 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 struggle with with issues like that or they think something about them maybe makes them not as worthy and um and then you know but it's as as if you watch the movie you'll see that you've got to embrace your true authentic self and whatever size shape you are or you know it's um you know you just gotta gotta love yourself and you know find find the advantages in it i love that so much yes you better celebrate your differences and look at you now all right yeah i know <laughs> it all worked out it i wish i could out. have told my younger self that though because I was stressing back in the day, but I'm um, knew then what you know now would be different, but everything happened for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it did. I just want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to speak to me. I'm just sending you so much love and light your way. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh, thanks, Sharonda. I really appreciate it. So nice talking to you. And thank you for watching the movie. And I hope I hope everybody loves it because we shot it in Atlanta and we had the best time uh, in the ATL. And um and it's like, I don't know, it's just such a fun, fun, cute movies to boost everyone's mood. And thank you for putting everybody on Bewitched, okay? Yeah. <laughs>